Update 3 brings with it a new fancy fluid system and a significant change to oil production. Now oil production involves the production of byproducts. And what does that mean for you? Well, it means that petrol is not going to come straight out of the ground or rather straight from a refinery. No, it's got to go through multiple stages. You've got to refine crude oil into something else and heavy oil. And then you've got to refine heavy oil into fuel. And each of these things produces a byproduct. And what does that mean for you? Well, what happens when your byproduct buffers fill up? What happens when you haven't tuned your production such that you're consuming exactly as much of the byproducts or the primary products as you intended to and so that you get no backup ever right you either you need either overconsumption or you need some way of having your pipeline perfectly balanced what will happen is your refineries will stop going and then that means that your pipeline through to your fuel generator will stop going and that will mean that your system because let's face it, a lot of us run a little lean sometimes. Your system can come crashing down around you. And you'll need to go through and figure out where the bottleneck is and clear it up. And, I mean, yes, in an ideal world, you just build your factory right and you don't need to worry about that. But there is a simpler solution for those of you that are lazy. And that is added by the sink. The sink is a fancy new grinding machine. What it does is it destroys items. That's right, Fixit have added a way of destroying items. It prints out coupons, which you can use to get various dumb collectible things and also some kind of cosmetically different items. But really, what it's there for is it lets you deal with excess in a simple, easy way. Just destroy it. But how do you destroy something while still keeping a fair amount of it in stock? You really, ideally, just want to destroy the excess. You want to leave a buffer in case you've got any sudden projects. you got a new milestone and you actually need to pull out 3,000 wire to complete it. Well, that is where the overflow splitter comes in. What's an overflow splitter? The idea of an overflow splitter is something that you can fit into your pipeline such that only excess production will go away. So it will only pass items through it when everything in front of it is backed up. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you put this before storage, not afterwards, because otherwise storage is just another source of supply. And it's really simple. You've just got a series of splitters all linked together with an output at the end. And then above it, a series of mergers all linked together going the other way and then you link all these uh, you link two outputs of each splitter to two inputs of each merger so that means that two-thirds of the inputs that come into this will come out either side and go immediately into this uh, merger and leave unless it's backed up and that goes so on and so forth so by the time you get to the end of this and I think this is a 7.1 it's basically a fraction of a fraction, something like 0.1% end up coming through here, unless it's backed up. If it's backed up, then obviously 100% of production will go through there and be routed through to my sink. Now, when it comes to building these, uh, this is actually very simple to create. One thing that you should keep in mind is so you can stack these things and a stack that is three high is the perfect height so you do this right i have my mergers and splitters running in opposite directions just so that, that means that uh, most stuff won't go through the full stack they'll only go through the uh, end stack and then i just reclaim this and the reason for this is this turns out to be the perfect height for a conveyor lift this is the minimum height of a conveyor lift. And if you do that, it actually links at both sides and that all works perfectly. And if you do that, it links at all, both sides and that all works perfectly. 
So that is your overflow splitter and that will let you make sure that certain machines will always be in production even when you are grossly overestimating the amount of supply and that means that you can also start getting some of the dumb cosmetics that can make things look just a little bit prettier like this lovely set of glass foundations that I'm using for this ring here or indeed this dumb little factory cart that is trying to make its way around the ring uh, even if it is not particularly good at it.